Welcome back to Drams for Dummies. I am the number one dummy, Brett, and I am I could not be more excited to be having this pour in front of me and to have it the first pour with you. Uh, I just can't be I, I couldn't be more excited. So uh, those of you in the know or were following some of the big channels or, or whatever have seen this bottle and those of you who have watched me know that I am holiday ride or die. I'm 30 minutes from their doorstep and I've had some great experiences up there and we're planning on having a lot more up there. I've got my holiday glass right there and you know when when this uh, you know popped out um, you know from the folks at Bourbon Lore uh, you know there's a lot of picks that happen, but this one, you know, the story behind this is so unique. Uh, the first time that Holidays worked with a group to sort of make a custom, not just a single barrel, but a blend product to create that much, you know, that many more bottles for folks, but to just kind of take the holiday mash bill and, and what they're doing and then kind of just sort of create a unique experience through bour bourbon lore and if you see the, the guys and, and, and the folks that are associated with bourbon lore and, and this pick you know you've got amazing uh, experience in, in, in palettes so <clears throat> as soon as I saw it, I was like well that's gonna be pretty cool but I was out of town uh, during the distillery re release and so I was like well I guess I'm I guess I'm gonna miss that one uh, maybe I'll find a sample somewhere and then it popped up online for, I mean, like I got the notice notification, like it's going to be whatever time it was. And I was just on the trip, made a point to stop and try to get this bottle and was lucky enough to get it. And I know they sold out like that same day again. So basically sold, the distillery sold their allotment out in one day. And then um, uh, Urban Outfitters uh, sold out theirs in one day as well. And I'm so lucky to get it. It just got here, literally. Um, and not only, you, oh, you can see it. Spoiler alert. Some of the bottles were autographed by Kyle, uh, master distiller, who I've had the honor to meet and talk to a few times. And uh, you may see him on here, I think. Um, and I, because of an experience with um, uh, Jason C. and the Mash and Drum, which you'll be hearing about more about later uh, from him, um, I, it's my third autographed bottle of Holiday. But if anyone deserves three Holiday bottles autographed, it's me, right? So I have, you may already, when you're seeing this, have watched multiple reviews of this. You may have already heard multiple takes of this. The old, I have not watched them. I don't want to be biased by them. Um, the only thing that I kind of am gleaning from their, you know, the video titles and the 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 um, uh, I, I make them. I just know what they're called. But you know, the little screen grab, the little why can I the title card, the whatever. Anyway, is that is that. People are saying good things, or at least pe people are saying good things, and then the channel's picking it up, and they're teasing with the good things, and then their review may be something completely different. I don't know. So I don't know if this is hitting all the the marks that, it, that, that everyone thinks it is, or if it's disappointing. I don't know what's happening, but I know there's a ton of buzz around it, and for there to be national buzz around a Ben Holiday product is so, so amazing. Makes my heart so happy. So I don't even care what the bottle's doing. I'm just happy for the Holiday uh, crew, the Bourbon Lore community, and the fact that this is getting, that, that they're getting so much love so fast and they're so much on the up. So without further ado, let me drink this for you. I did pour it before, so I, there's no, there's no cork pop with the Holiday. It's just a plastic cap. I don't know if there's controversy around the plastic cap or not. I know what their answer is as to why they have the cap. Uh, no failures, no product loss. Um, you know, I don't know, but I do know we all like the, you know, we don't get that with the holidays. Um, so it's an 18 barrel blend. Um, you know, holiday again, to their credit, they do amazing things on their labels. Um, as far as disclosing. So this one's got the seven year age statement on it, right? 
And uh, but if you look at if you look at it, this one says that the youngest barrel is barrel 2125, which was distilled uh, December 19th of 2016, and the oldest barrel is barrel 19, which was distilled on March 9th, 2016. Um, barrel 19, is that the 19th barrel they ever barreled? Because that's cuckoo bananas. And being that this is, I don't know when they actually bottled it, maybe February, that would have made this, that would have almost a, I mean, a darn near eight year old barrel. Um, and then the youngest one was like seven and a half or whatever. So um, this is a, let's call it a seven and a half to almost eight year uh, blend. Uh, this is bottle 379 of 2,982, so very lucky to get it. Again, it says the 1856 original, and you've got the sticker there, a, a bourbon lore product where legends are celebrated. Well, gosh darn it. And then again, um, Holiday does such a good job of, of um, dis um, disclosing their information. Can you, we see that? Uh, so you've got... Five barrels came off floor five, five off floor four, four off floor two, and four off floor one. So um, I will say that I have inside knowledge from Kyle that I believe, well, definitely one of those middle floors is one of his favorites. So anyway, I'm not going to get into, I don't know, I'm just starting to make stuff up. So I just, I'm just avoiding this. So, so my mom said, first of all, that when I sh talk about the color, I do this. And you can't see it. She said, hold up by the white wall. But that's my left hand, and it's also a little bit awkward. But I don't know. Does that, what does that look like to you? That, I'm also kind of dancing with the camera. It doesn't appear to me, and I did change my lighting a little bit for this episode. Uh, it doesn't appear to be super dark, as much as you would think it would be. Uh, I'd go mid-dark. So let's see what this does. You know I love Holiday, so I love their profile. But to see, to, to let's find out what the Bourbon Lore uh, folks, along with Kyle, got put together with this awesome blend. Hmm. Oh, and the proof. Let's see. 118.6 proof. That is... I'm getting a black licorice note, strong off the off the rip, which is really interesting. And that's not a note that I've pulled before um, off of Holiday. And if it was, it was way in the background. And again, I didn't want to like. I should have probably done this on my own and then come back in like a week and let this thing get the air and do its thing. So. Who knows what it's if how much it's going to open up? I'm sure it's going to open up a lot more as we go, especially being a blend and it's really nice. But it is bright. It is super bright. Yeah, oaky black licorice. Um. Hmm. A lot of baking spice. There's a little citrusy in there. Like, I, I, I'm gonna go orange almost. There's like a little orange in there. It's it even just sitting here as I keep going back. And you know what? You know I like a good complex nose. It's different every time you go back. This one hit off the. I mean, just right out of the gun. It was like super, not bad, but super bright and a little sharp. And that black licorice hit me. <laughs> That's mellowing now. The oak is more is more prominent now. It is. It smells hot. <clears throat> Hotter than 118. Oh man! But again, that's what I love about Holiday and any good bourbon is is again that they can get so much complexity and so many layers out of even a seven year old bourbon or whatever. Um, it's different every time. <clears throat> it just is. Got some good old legs happening. I mean, they're coming down. I don't know if you can... Oh, you can kind of see how they do that. Can you see that? That's fun. And now it's now the oakiness is really popping out now. 
I'm going to take a drink and just see what that does to everything, and then we'll come back around. Wow. That's... That did that. The nose felt like it was going to come at me a little bit sharper in the palate, and it definitely came. It was very. It was much more smooth and easy and rich. Mmm, mmm. And it's still kind of happening. Kind of don't want to take that. Another, I don't. Wanna, I shouldn't drink that. I'll let this thing keep going. Mmm. I mean, it's doing. It, it really does. It's doing all the things really well. <laughs> Um, let me see if I can get some scores here. Taking that drink has, has really mellowed the nose. And it's really, the sweetness is kind of rounding through now. That is... That's really nice. Hmm. It gives that little bit of that um, proofy sizzle up through here, but it's but I like it. It's like eating spicy food. You're like, a mm, little sizzle in there. That's just, I just think, I just think holiday is just, it's if you, it's just bourbon, man. It's just, it's, it's just, it doesn't, it's not crafty. It's authentic. It's genuine, but yet it's saying something a little bit more unique. I mean, it's just got a different voice. But I mean, oh, it's, there's a smooth and a richness in there now, so it's smoothing out the nose. Man. A little bit of a savory note in there, which I get on holiday sometimes, that kind of savory, almost barbecue, tomato-y spice in there. But it's very subdued. It's, it's back behind the... It's like if you saw that Friends episode where Rachel made the, the, the trifle and then she got this pages stuck and it was like, you know, beef, good, you know, jam, good, uh, gravy, whatever, pea, I don't remember, I can't remember all the things that were in it, but it was like she mixed all these things up and that was kind of like, I talk about this barbecue sauce and I was like, but then it's like you got the cream, the whipped cream and the, the, uh, that caramel and, and molasses and oak is, 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 is almost is in front of that. So it's. It's a weird layered thing. <laughs> it's like it's all on the plate together, and it's it's separate, but it goes together somehow. <sighs> like you went to the barbecue restaurant and you had a great plate of barbecue, Kansas, talking about Kansas City and Missouri, you know, bourbon, and then they brought this awesome dessert out, <laughs> and it's like some kind of a booze-soaked creamy cakey thing but then like you, you they they put it on the plate with the barbecue that you had and so you've got a little bit of sauce in the side so as you're kind of scooping it you get a little bit of that that's what's going on i don't know i'm losing my i'm losing track of myself here yeah that sharpness and that really came off that must have been that poor sharpness that was really hitting me um i'm gonna go 8.5 on the nose palette's pretty special because it's it's rich and it's deep and it's layered but it stays on track too it doesn't twist and turn a whole lot it's rich and smooth and sweet and creamy and viscous it just fills the palate with what you're wanting out of a bourbon and that's what i'm saying it's just i mean holiday is just traditional 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 it's not it's not trying to throw you curveballs here um and so i feel like that nose sets you up nice Maybe it may maybe get you thinking you're gonna have a little bit of a sharp experience, and then this, and then it, as soon as it hits the mouth, you just feel it, just, just it just fill in the mouth. I'm gonna go with a nine. The finish can't hold up that nine. It comes down a little bit. Um, it falls off kind of quick, but then it sort of has a little bit of come back and get you and then it really you really feel it in the chest which is nice so the overall experience is fantastic 
Um, but let me give me one more drink here and see what's going on. <sighs> Pulled a little... <laughs> every different... little grape came through, and then, it, then the next time it was gone. So, wisps of things. Wisps of things. I just feel like... I feel like the finish, it just falls off enough. I'm going to go 7.5. And I'm interested now. I want to go watch um, Jason C. And of the mash and drum, and I, I, I'm pretty sure he did this. I'm almost 100% sure he did this. I didn't watch it yet, but I sat next to Jason at Holiday and uh, helping him with his barrel pick. And um, which, by the way, I'm sorry, barrel picks. Um, you're gonna want to get both the wheat and the bourbon. Um, so we talked about, you know, I'm a nose first. I kind of go in order. I'm nose first, palate second, finish third. I can forgive finish if the other two are fantastic, whatever. And Jason let me know that he's kind of a finish first guy. Like he he wants that real. There's something in that experience that that's what really trips his triggers. And then maybe he goes the other direction, right? I don't. I mean, I, I kind of feel like if I'm remembering right, it might have gone. If I was. He might go finish nose palette. I don't even know, but um, I'd be interested to see his review of this bottle and see if he agrees with me um, that the finish falls off a little bit compared to what you think you're getting or what you're getting off the nose and the palette. Um, but let me do a little little mathy time, a little edit. See on the other side of the math. Okay, so score breakdown time. Nose eight point five. Great, hard to complain, and this is the neck pour. This may be a nine or a nine point five when I come back to it. Um, palette nine, rich, viscous, smooth, sweet, really everything you probably want out of out of out of a bourbon. I mean, it depends on what you're looking for, um, but you're gonna get that nice, smooth, rich, fairly easy drinking. It's not kicking you too much experience. And then the finish falls off a little bit for a 7.5, but that all ends up averaging to an 8.3, which top shelf. So that's top shelf for me. Not a surprise at all. Kudos, uh, uh, Kyle and the Holiday crew. You guys are doing such amazing things, and I'm so excited that you're getting the love you deserve. Kudos and cheers to the Bourbon Lore crew this you guys your your reputations and your resumes precede you but um you, you did a really special cool project and the results are fantastic so both all of you deserve the credit you're getting um i can't wait to go watch everyone else's reviews now and see the love you're getting i know that people have teased out maybe uh top bourbon of the year already in march april um which is fantastic so problem with this bottle is you know it's you're not going to find it on the shelf you're not going it, to it's gone from the online stores so now we're talking about secondary and i don't know i don't think holiday on secondary is going to be you know nationwide is going to be pulling crazy over retail so i don't even know if, if they're going to end up there if people are just going to end up holding on to them and drinking them and enjoying them which is what they should do um but for you watching what's the point if you can't buy this bottle you're good you're you're seeing their stuff on the shelves um and if you have it, you're going to, and, and, and one, you know, if one way or the other, you're going to go online and see it, get their stuff, get all of it, get, get the, the bottled and bond bourbon, get the bottled and bond, you know, soft red wheat, get the Rick house proofs. If you see a store pick or a single barrel, grab it, everything, it, and everything is on profile, but everything's just enough different that each, each bottle is a different experience. It's, they're not, a, they're not do it at a level of a beam or a heaven hill or a jack daniels where there's a every bottle's the exact same and, and and it's just sort of a a big factory produced thing so you get this amazing experience where you have individuals crafting this still yet doing it in a way and in a style and in a climate and in rick houses that produce a product that tastes like the big boys. Every bit is good or better than the big boys. So holiday, 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 all day long. Cheers, holiday. Cheers, dummies. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Everything you're doing is fantastic. As long as one of the things you're doing is following, subscribing, liking, leaving comments, sharing with your other dummy friends who like this stuff. If you're doing that, 
you have all of my love. If you're not doing those things, depending on which ones you're not doing, my love goes down incrementally. And if, if you're not doing any of them, it just goes down to I like you, thanks for watching, but there's no love. I mean, I can't fully love you if you're not giving back there to me. So click the, the subscribe, click the like, do all the things. Think about being a patron, support what we're doing here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ben Holiday. Thank you, Bourbon Lore. Fantastic bottle. 8.3, top shelf. Buy all the holiday. Love you guys. Bye.